I didn't realize it till the end of the interview that this lady was actually a backslidden Jehovah's Witness who'd read through their version of the Bible seven times and would go out door to door 70 hours a month. And she said something during the interview that left me floundering. Where are you going when you die? From what genetics says, I'm just going to deteriorate and my energy will go back to what energy does, recycle itself. Could you be wrong? I can be wrong, just like anyone else. You know, the Bible says it's appointed a man once to die. Death is an appointment. Get out of dentist appointments, but you won't get out of this one. And after death, the judgment. If you stand before God on judgment day, how are you going to do? Are you a good person? I wouldn't say I'm a good person. So what are you doing that's morally wrong? I intend to be a good person, but I can, I can tell you that there's going to be some people that are going to say no. Andrea, let's see if you're a good person. How are you going to do on Judgment Day? Well, look at the Ten Commandments just for a couple of minutes. How many lies have you told in your life? Oh, a lot. Ever stolen something? Yes. Ever used God's name in vain? Yes. <laughs> do you love your mum? I love her. Would you ever use your mother's name as a cuss word? I think I have. Most people would never use their mother's name as a cuss word because they respect their mum. Right. But you don't respect the God that gave you a mother. You've taken his holy name and used it as a cuss word. Very serious, Andrea. One to go, and I appreciate your honesty. You. Jesus said, you shall not commit adultery. I've heard it said that. Have you ever committed adultery? I have. I certainly didn't expect that answer. In fact, I didn't even mean to ask that question. It just came out that way. Listen to me get flustered. That's so obviously. So here's a quick summation of your... Hey, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think everybody has... Uh, a lot of people have uh, committed adultery. And they don't do it because of the action. They do it because they get emotionally involved with someone. Doesn't mean that they're doing something wrong. So here's a quick summation of your court case on Judgment Day. Andrea, I'm, I'm not judging you, but you've just told me you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer or an adulteress, <laughs> whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So if you face God on Judgment Day and He judges you by the Ten Commandments, would you be innocent or guilty? Well, according to the God that we interpret in the Bible, I would be definitely guilty. Have you ever heard the Bible verse, the wages of sin is death? Yes. It's saying that God is paying you in death for your sins. Like a judge who looks at a criminal who's committed murder, but he says, I don't really care, I think I'm a good person. The judge says, I'm going to show you how serious your crime is. I'm giving you the death sentence. This yeah. is your wages. This is what you've earned. And Andrea, sin is so serious to a holy God, he's given you the death sentence. You're on death row. And your death will be evidence to you that God is deadly serious about sin. So if you're guilty on judgment day, would you go to heaven or hell? Go to hell. That horrifies me. I've just met you and the thought of you going to hell breaks my heart. I, I really, because I don't really believe hell. The Bible says... All liars will have their part in the lake of fire. No thief, no blasphemer, no adulterer will inherit God's kingdom. So here's a question. What did God do for guilty sinners like you and me so we wouldn't have to go to hell? God gives them a choice of repenting. No, God did something wonderful. What did he do? Oh, he gave his son for, for us. Yeah. We broke God's law. Jesus paid the fine. That's what happened on the cross. That's why he said, it is finished. Just before he died, he was saying, paid in full. Mm -hmm. If you're in court and you've got speeding fines and you plead guilty, the judge will let you go if someone pays those fines. You'll say, you're out of here, and it's legal. Well, God can legally take the death sentence off you and let you live forever, all because of what Jesus did on the cross and paying our fine. And then he rose from the dead, defeated death, and if you'll simply repent of your sins, and you'll never do that while you think you're a good person, and trust in Jesus, God promises he'll grant you everlasting life, not because you're good, but because he's good and kind and rich in mercy. Does that make sense? Well, I guess it makes sense for every, anyone that wants to believe that. <laughs> well, I, I, I hope that's you. I hope you'll examine my tone and listen to the way I'm speaking to you and realize I'm saying this because I know it's true and I care about you and I want to see you in heaven, not in hell. Can I give you a book I've written called Scientific Facts in the Bible? Of course, anything given is fine. This book is about the combination of science and Bible? Yeah, it actually shows all the scientific facts that were written in the Bible thousands of years ago before man discovered them. And that shows the fingerprint of God all over the Bible. It means that you can believe the promise of everlasting life if it contains supernatural information like that that man couldn't know. Do you think you'll read it? Uh, just by curiosity, because I read the Bible like over seven times. I would preach 70 hours a month. 
Lord Lord. You were Jehovah's Witness? I was a Jehovah's Witness. Oh. Well, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> and there's a huge difference between the two. Jehovah's Witnesses think you can earn eternal life by good works, by doing things. And the Bible says you can't. We're saved by grace and grace alone. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. That we're so sinned against God, there's nothing we can do to make up for our sins. It only comes because Jesus suffered in our place. Sure appreciate you listening to me. And don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. There's a real baby with all the dirty bathwater. Great to meet you today. All right. It's nice to meet you too. Thank you. Thanks to the generosity of our publishers, we were able to get a massive print of scientific facts in the Bible, which means you can get them for as low as 99 cents per copy if you order them in bulk. See livingwaters.com for details. Living Waters exists as a non-profit ministry to help you grow in your faith. Here are three things to help you do just that. The Living Waters Podcast the Evidence Study Bible, everything you've ever wanted to know about the Christian faith, and the Starter Kit, four of our most popular gospel tracks. These and much more are available at livingwaters.com. Have you seen our video, She Laughs at First, and then the preacher says this? It's had millions of views. You're going to love it. You can watch it right now by clicking on the top video.